Hi guys, it's Craig here. December 19. We're quite a long way into our Adina advent calendar now. The box is looking pretty empty of new bags. Um, so I'm excited to bring you today's activity. It's all about um, laser trip wires, I think, which sounds uh, very cool. Um, so we've got our bag number 19 here. And let's flip the camera around and start the activity. Okay, so let's open up bag number 19 and take a look inside see what we've got here all right so uh, this is our little module we've got our pins here for our we've got like a five volt our ground and out to a pin we've got our laser here um, <laughs> like a mounted weapon almost looks like a little hovercraft type of thing there um, so we're going to um, yeah build a little laser tripwire so let's look at our first step the first step is oh we're going to insert an LDR into the breadboard okay I didn't didn't expect that is our first step uh, let me see where our LDR is. Okay, here we go, our LDR. So this is going into our breadboard, first of all. It doesn't matter um, which of these legs go in where because they're not polarized. So I'll just straighten it up a little bit. And what if we go here and here? Pop this in. I'm oh really giving it a good bend there. <laughs> Try again. Right. And that is in. Alright. Now we need a 10k ohm resistor, which goes brown, black, black, red, brown. I do believe I've got a couple of those hanging around just like this black uh what is it brown black black red brown okay so let's um hook this up to our resistor here and go here and here and now we're going to connect the uh, ldr here to the ground Let's do that. Go on this vertical. So I'm getting out of camera view there. I might just move that there and there. And we're going to hit the ground. Let's do it over here. And now we're going to connect a jumper from A0, port A0, to the voltage divider output is going to be from here to analog zero just there neat okay now we're going to connect the three volt to um, the 10k ohm resistor and look where that one is so that's our uh, three volt. It's just over here. You see the three volt there next to the five. I'm going to connect. Actually, it says three point three volt, doesn't it? I'm going to connect up that to the ten k there. Now we're going to connect the five volt to the laser module. All right, so we've got our five volt just here, and this is going to connect to. Oops, I need the other sort of cord for this. We're going to go five volt to. Uh, we're only going to go to this side, the five volt. Here, I think I thought this was the other way around earlier. 
Alrighty, all good. Now we're going to connect the laser module to the ground. We can do that. So we've got another ground. Got them all lined up, don't we? The other ground is just here. And they'll connect to the outside pin. Sorry, I keep going outside the camera's view. Ooh, we have laser. Whoa, dangerous. Did say don't look straight into it. I think that means don't point it straight at the camera either. You can see the laser there. Right. And now we're going to plug a buzzer in. Oh, yes, I like our little buzzer. Okay, here's our buzzer. So I'm just going to plug that in. Um, so the positive pin is on the right hand side. Positive, right hand side. Gotcha. Yeah, traffic. Locked in. Oh no, one's not, one side's not locked in. There we go. And we're going to connect digital pin 9 to the buzzer. Cord here. And we'll go digital pin 9 to the buzzer right there. And connect the buzzer to the ground. Just checking I've got that lined up correctly. I think I do. Connect the buzzer's negative pin. Oh, I, okay, I see what they're doing there. To the ground. Which I think is here. And when they say the ground, they mean. Uh, Okay, a lot of cords hooked up there. I hope this is all okay. We'll certainly soon find out and we'll find out what this is all going to do with the code. Code time. Alrighty, analog pin to which the uh, light detector is connected. The light dependent resistor there. Um, Okay, value, yep, so depending on the, the variable that uh, comes, the, the value that comes in there, buzzers hooked up to 9, serial monitor, 9600. Okay, so the LDR, so that's going to read a value, it's going to show the value in the serial monitor, if the value is less than 600, is it more than 600? Then the buzz is going to make a buzz. And there'll be three seconds of beeping to tell you the tripwire has been broken. Otherwise, there will be no tone. All right. Let's have a look at how this is going to work. We'll copy this into Arduino. Hook it up. Compiling sketch, uploading, and uploading. Whoa! The buzz is working. <laughs> Hold on. Mayday. Mayday. Um, serial monitor. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> what about now? It's not really. I haven't done anything now, it's just going into the air. Alright, what if I put my finger there for a moment? Ah, the finger does nothing, okay. That's a great sound. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to change this value to like a hundred. Just to see if this is going to stop it for a moment. Yep. Oh boy, okay. So 162. 
What's the resistor doing? What's the light dependent? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> so put it back to 600. Done uploading. Okay. Okay. Just going to move it back to 100 for a moment. Okay, we've got 176. So let me see. But what's the laser? The laser, the closer it gets to something. So the laser's doing this, but then when the laser hits the light dependent resistor, it does that. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Let me just look at what what are they doing here? Oh yes, right. So the laser is if the laser is pointed at the LDR, it's okay. But the moment something intercepts it, oh, okay, that's what that's what'll trigger the buzzer. Right. Okay. So not not what I'm doing. <laughs> um, well, let's go back in. Um, Hang on, hang on, what's this say? Now, when the laser gets broken, the buzzer will go for three seconds. Yeah. I didn't realize. So this has to be facing the laser. So let's hook it up in a fashion that they'll both join. Um, no, I could just manually hold them, couldn't I? Um, all right. I need my I need Lego for this to mount this the way I'd like to. That's all right. Um, I'm going to bend this LDR like this, and I'm going to put a little uh, some blue tack too. I'm going to go and get some blue tack. <laughs> And I'm going to come back. Just excuse me for a moment. Okay, I'm back with BlueTech. So what I'm going to do, BlueTech laser there, and BlueTech the breadboard here. like that, but let's change this value to 600. Alrighty. Well, I thought, hang on, wait till something trips the... trips the laser. Let's put a little bit of blue tack. Oh, that's a good sound. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, um, let's just, what's the serial monitor doing? Very low. Man, let me just change it for a moment. What about 10? Well, greater than, what if I do this? Okay, a little bit of quiet for a moment. So we've got sevens, and my finger goes in front. Hey, that's something. All right. Now this symbol, oh man, I'm embarrassed that I forget. I mean, when it's pointing that way, is it like going from bigger to smaller? So when it's... Okay, greater than symbol is that. Okay, 
Okay, so it's the arrow pointing in like the sort of number line direction this way. So when it's greater than 100, the tone buzzer, but that doesn't seem right. Because I'm at seven, like it feels, oh no, of course, no, that is right. When it's like, when it's greater than 100, so we're, we're pointing at the LDR, we've got seven. Now, someone's going to walk in front of the, what about these two fingers walking, 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 oops, back, 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 because it goes greater than 100. Do, 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 do. Ah, and then they're back. Hey, that's not, <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little closer there so I can really see, can see the LDR. I can have to try them. The LDR there has got the laser pointed right at it. Laser's going there, and something goes in the path of the laser. Buzzes for three seconds. <laughs> All right. Well, that was great. <laughs> Once I worked out the code a bit more, um, worked out what greater than and less than look like, and um, you know, hooked it up in the right way with the blue tack to be pointing at the LBR, uh, that all made perfect sense. So, <laughs> lots of fun. Um, thank you for watching. Um, that's a nice little thing. I think the guide uh, suggests that you put it in front of the Christmas tree uh, to stop presents being captured. Um, it sounds like a fair plan, <laughs> so I'll have a little bit of fun with this uh, later this evening. Thank you very much for watching, and there's only think, four more of these left. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Five left. Five activities left. So I will see you tomorrow for December 20. See you then.